Hello everyone, welcome to Ganaka Future Challenges. Today we're going to talk about action bias and speedboats. And for this I have to share a story. We recently produced the Human Conference in Eastern Germany. A beautiful event with smart people, amazing people that came together, 120 of them, to talk about technology, regions and people and how to bridge all that and as a part of that conference I had the honor to present a panel on the topic of uh, human beings and innovation 60 people in the room an hour of intense discussion and many questions and concerns raised especially about ethics when it comes to the use of technology and during that panel I found, yet again, that it is simply not enough to talk about stuff. Because it frustrates people, especially the smart ones, the well-traveled ones, the ones that have the power and ability to change things within themselves and around them. So for the end of that panel, I read out loud a message from my dear friend Sharam Reza Sade. And I'm going to do that again now, uh, just briefly. He says, hey Christopher, thank you. I hope you're fine. I send you my greetings from Kampala. I'm fine again after I had been poisoned and had to stay in bed for a while. Now I'm better and the positive side effect is I feel much fitter now, I lost some weight. But here comes the core message. Christopher, I will not participate with your conference. It doesn't have anything to do with the conference itself, but after having attended many, many conferences, sometimes as a visitor, sometimes as a speaker, I decided for myself that I will not participate in any other conference for the future. Instead, I want to focus on projects and execution and I call my projects speedboats. I want to spend my lifetime only exclusively with execution from now on to find out whether that is more effective than to talk about stuff. My focus is going to be on food, education and living. And then he goes on into much more detail about the actual projects. And I read this because I feel that ever more often participants with conferences are left with this frustrating feeling that you've gained an insight and then you go back to normal you go back to the daily grind and actually nothing happens. So I ask you, what could be your speedboat? I am sure that you've got many ideas about things that you would like to get your hands on and start to work on to change some existing status quo, a quality within your job, a quality within your private life that could be altered to the better. What could you start to work on tomorrow? It can be a tiny little thing. And of course, you've got to ha have a trade-off. You've got to drop something, let go of something to start acting on the other side. Ideally, ask you, what is your speedboat? And if you want, please share because sharing is caring and we would really love to learn more about what you do what your action bias is because we think then we can really achieve something great together